Hey guys, it's me, Faye here at Faye Desk, and I am back with another video. And in this video, I am doing a what's in my bag video. I really, these are like some, they're like really, really popular videos on um, YouTube anyway. But they're literally like, I don't know, they're some of my favourites to watch just because they're so easy to just watch. And I love, I love handbags anyway, and I love having a little a little nose in people's bags just to sort of uh, get an idea of what what they have like what they carry what they keep in their bag what they sort of feel is essential and all that good stuff so without further ado let's check it out right this is my bag that I've been rocking for the last few months uh, I got it from um outfit in England which is sort of like a store that houses a few different brands like um, Topshop, uh, Dorothy Perkins, Apricot, Wallace, Miss Selfridge, um, yeah just sort of houses a few different brands and I sort of had to rush out and get another bag because my bag that I was using at the time it finally gave up the ghost and one of the straps broke and I was devastated but I went in there and I saw this one if I loved it it was £38 and it's leather. I think it's leather. It could be leather. I think it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the front of it. And then that's the back of it. And it's one of those that you can sort of carry on the crook of your arm. And it's got a long strap, adjustable strap, and it's all gold hardware. Um, I don't usually tend to put it on my shoulder strap unless my hands are full. I usually just sort of carry it on the crook of my arm. Uh, it's got a main compartment in the top and it's got two flap compartments as well. So. I mean, obviously, as you know, anyone who's been following my channel for ages, obviously, I love anything that's bright and colourful, butterflies and flowers and things like that. So I'll try and get a little bit closer. I'm not sure how well you can see, but it's got all pretty butterflies and different flowers and things like that on it. So I used the flaps just to um, carry extra, uh, extra uh, bits in, but I used the main compartment mainly zips up I don't really zip it up I leave it unzipped and it's hard to try and do it at an angle you can see but if you can see along the back there there's a zip the back and at the front bit which you probably you can't see there's a couple of like little small phone pockets so let's get into it oh that's a good cat this is my purse I uh, had this purse um, was the same matching design as my old bag that broke. I got it from uh, Sainsbury's, it was like 12 pounds I think. I really like it so I've just kept using it. It's relatively, it's a big purse, there's a lot of room. It's just pretty with the roses on it and it's got the gold hardware. And as you can see there is loads of card slots. Card slots there. There's card slots in the top which I don't use because I did, there's four card slots in the top. I did put cards um, cards in there when I first changed over to it but I was struggling to close it with cards in there and in there so I don't put any cards in there I suppose that you could put stamps and things like that if you wanted to in there there's six card slots in there so I've got like my bank card uh, driving license like my my unique card a couple of credit cards things like that um, there's a pocket in the back there at that side there that I've sort of got a couple of um, coupons in there's another additional six card slots at the back there, which I keep more sort of loyalty cards and a couple more credit cards and things. So I've got lots of receipts. <laughs> we won't be boring and go through those receipts. There's probably nothing exciting. I clean it out periodically, but I haven't done it for a while. There's some boots um, coupons that run out in October. I've got some stamps. Uh, some some British stamps and some more loyalty cards and things like that and then you've got a zip part in the middle 
which is where else I keep my change. Um, so I got some more Lloyd's cards so, and some money in that bit. Just put these back. I need to clean this out later, like seriously. And then, and then you got a zip, which is handy at the back as well, which I keep more sort of change and things like that in. So that was my purse. Next, we have my sunglasses. They're by a brand called Coco Mint. I got them this summer. So it's just a hard case that opens up. And then you've got your glasses and lens top cloth inside. I love the minty green colour. And these are just like a rose gold um, sun glass. I just love them. I think they really suit my face and they're just like really funky. And yeah, I just really like them. So I've been wearing them when the weather, when we've been having sunny days. So I just keep them in my bag. Um, next we have my makeup bag, uh, it does actually look, if you think it looks like a purse it's because it actually was like a little purse type of thing, I got it when I was last um, in America last year visiting my dad, it is, got it from, where did I get it from, the shoe department, there was a shoe department near Walmart, I bought some shoes and things in there and I was up by the tills and this was seven dollars i think but i really like it and i was like saw it show and i was like yep i want to use that as a makeup bag it is like a fake soft fake leather and it's got really pretty sort of monarch type butterfly coloring and then you just flip it up and it's got a zip and there's another little zip compartment inside which i don't use it at all so let's have a quick look and see what i got in here it's got a few essentials this is my sexy mother pucker lip oop, lip plumping gloss um, by Soap and Glory. And this is in the shade Bare Enough. And I really like it. It has that sort of tingling feeling you put it on and makes you plump, plump your lips. Just a really pretty colour. And my Kabuki brush. I got this from Boots I think in one of their Christmas sets after Christmas like maybe last year so I use that to put my bronzer on and this one is the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer and as you can see I've hit pan on that one so I'm chuck it <laughs> so I'm nearly out on that I need to get some more I've had this blusher for ages but I really like it it was by a brand called Front Cover I don't Boots used to do it I don't even know if they do it anymore it's just like a really pretty rose gold color and I have an old mascara in here that I really need to get rid of now but I really liked using it so I got a better one now this is an elf elf worm I can't remember which what it was called as that could be it was by elf um it was like three dollars oh I have a couple of hair bands in here that I didn't even know I had it's good to know I always need a hair band I have some number seven tweezers, an Avon Ultra Glaze Wear Lip Gloss in the shade Perfect Nude, um, my awesome replacement mascara that has literally just come out, it's Unique's Mood Struck Epic Mascara. And for those of you that know Unique or follow or follow me because I'm a presenter with Unique, uh, they usually or they always have had a two-step mascara where you put the fibres on and the gel and blah blah blah. This one they've came out with a couple of months ago and it is one step mascara so it's literally just this one single step it's so simple and easy and it gives you epic results and you can just keep this in your makeup bag you haven't got it's not a faff like the other one was but yeah i would definitely recommend it it's awesome if you want to check it out or find out more info about it i've got the a link to my unique site in the description box another elf product this is uh it was a lip liner in tea rose not used it in a while like a lip lining crayon it's like a really pretty it's very hard to see lights not 
very good. You can even see that. You can just about see it. It's just like a light purpley pink and it's really pretty. Uh, I have my one of my favourite eyeliners by Barry M. It's like really old. It's an eyeliner pen and it's a really pretty green. If you've watched my videos before and seen stuff like tutorials on my makeup bag you would have seen it. And it's just the number two. It's just number two. Uh, another unique product. This is my collapsible lip brush which I love. Uh, another unique product, my uh, Moodstruck Precision Brow Gel, and this was in the darkest, darkest shade. Uh, go back in. I want to go in then. Uh, we're nearly done in my makeup bag, I promise. I got a Ted Baker lip gloss, lipstick in here, which has got a bit dirty because it's been in the bottom of my lip, on my makeup bag. Uh, doesn't say what shade it is, but it's a um, you know, pinky shade, really pretty. And then we got three more products. Got a unique eyeliner, Moustruck Precision Pencil in the shade Polar, so in a really pretty dark, dark blue. Uh, my eyeshadow brush that I've had for years, and finally Moustruck precision brow liner in the shade dark so it's got spoolie on that side and then your brow liner that side and that's my makeup bag as you can see it, it can hold a lot of stuff and what else have we got in this bag I have a swept away um, fragrance that my dad got me when I was in America this is a really pretty old Painted Lady by Umberto Gianni. It's a got really dusty. It's an eye set. Um, more hair ties. <laughs> a hairbrush. My Apple headphones that are like always shoved at the bottom of my bag. And this is, I need to clip these back up. This is a little clip so I can keep my headphones all tied together um, some tampons some more tampons a over stick inhaler I was wondering what that was some ibuprofen painkillers a another hair tie <laughs> and a lotus biscuit that's pretty crushed and I should probably just throw it away and the USB stick and that's it for the main compartment as you can see you can hold you can hold a lot of stuff in there uh, I don't keep oh, got backing. <laughs> I don't keep anything in this back compartment if I need to bring a book with me or something like that I'll put it in there but in the other compartment I keep if I get it out this which is my um from my old handbag and I really loved it so I've kept it and I keep my planner in there so this is my current planner I'm using it's the untimely planner it's just a really sort of cute pocket planner and it's got tabs along the side like info monthly uh weekly like to do lists and finances and and at the back there's a pocket so and i've got sticker set and things like that uh a really pretty notepad that has dream catchers on it i use it as a to-do list uh biro and some washi tape and a ring of mine. Hey guys, I don't know what happened there. My camera just, ah, my bikes are sitting down, just decided to die on me. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, that's my bat. And then this cute little pouch is from Michaels and it's got some more washi tape and things like that in it. 
and that guys is everything that's in my bag um i've got to put all this stuff back in yay <laughs> but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and um comment below with either video responses or pictures of your bag or what you like to keep in your bag and i will see you guys in my next video blessed be mm -hmm.